hello friends welcome to job in tech solutions if you are new to our channel you must start from tutorial 01 because this is a complete series each and every video is continued from the previous videos we have uploaded like tutorial 1 tutorial 2 tutorial 3 and this is the tutorial 4 in our previous video we learned how to resize image using image icons get scaled instance method Today's video is about to create a sidebar panel where we can put our navigation menu items. There are many ways to generate swing element as I told in our first video tutorial. But we chose to make method for each fragment of design. If you have already watched our videos, you might remember we built a bore method which returned panel. Likewise in this video, we are gonna create a sidebar method in which we'll generate a sidebar. So without taking any time, let's create public jpanel sidebar method, create a jpanel instance. Now with this panel, we'll gonna create a flow layout. New flow layout align center, 5 in horizontal gap and 5 in vertical gap to create a space for menu items. Now set layout as flow layout to panel. Set panels bounds 0 in x and offset in vertical from a bar menu's height which is 45, 8, 300 in width and 700 in height. Set its background color according to your design color scheme. Add sidebar panel method into main panel. Run program to see progress. Oops, mistakenly I added fourth argument into color, which is alpha value for color and I mistakenly added opacity to zero. Remove alpha value and run again to see progress. Our sidebar panel has been added successfully. Now here is a trick to create menu items easily and scalable. Parse a string array into sidebar method as values of menu items. Now run for loop and limit it to values length. Create jpanel in loop for menu item at grid layout one by one. Set preferred size for panel because sidebar has a flow layout and flow layout works perfect with preferred size. Now create a gel label as value to show menu item text. Parse values and add index i so it can get text from array. Finally add value label into menu item panel. Add new string array into sidebar method arguments where we have used it. And add your menu text values into array. Run program to see progress. Adjust size and bounds a little bit to make it look professional. Add space and value labels text. For hover effects, we'll use mouse listener to menu items panel. Add background and foreground colors into when mouse entered and mouse exited. Now run once again to see progress. You can see our sidebar is completely ready. That's all for today's tutorial. Hope you are learning it well. In our next video, we'll create body content panel and add data blocks into it. Also make sure to visit our channel's community tab. We have started test ports to check your learning progress working with our tutorials. Ok guys, wrapping up the video here. Hope you like, comment, share our videos and subscribe our channel. Thank you.